Right. I don't know if I've included it, but uh, there may be a bit of the beginning you've just watched me opening this thing. But basically, I've bought this Hot Wheels um, RC car. It's a Porsche 911 GT3. And it includes a bit of a track that looks like this. Um, if you look from the back, you can see there's a bunch of cool stuff. It's a little uh, charging cable to charge it up. And um, yeah, go on track. Um, I, meant, I guess I was meant to say it drifts. And it's got a turbo. So I mean, that's always good. Anyway, let's go the box. This is what we are left with. Uh, we've got the car itself and the controller. First of all, the controller, let's just talk about this controller. It's very cheap. I mean, I'm not a salesman, but there's a link below to where I bought this. I paid 15 pounds for this. It was half price, maybe 30 quid. So the controller, it feels very cheap plastic. I mean, you, there's no way to convey just how cheap these, um, these um, forward, backwards, side to side buttons feel. It's very light, it's plastic, it takes uh, two AA batteries, uh, but it gets the job done. And it's got this button here, which is uh, turbo. So anything with a turbo button um, is clearly good news. And it says Ot were on it. Um, they can't fit the entire Hot Wheels logo across there, so it just says Ot were. Anyway. This is the control, you've got forward, backwards, left, right, turbo, that's to sync it with the car, and this is to align the wheels left and right, but I, I mean, I don't know how good that's gonna be. Anyway, onto the actual car, this is the car. Uh, I got this, you can get a few different ones, I think there's a Cybertruck, I don't know why you're on that, um, and a bunch of other cars, a Tesla, something else. But this is the, you know, Porsche, it's green, it looks like a Porsche, it's very light, it's all plastic. You see the bottom, you just got basically a switch there, for, a button there for charging it, a button, a hole there for charging it, and a button for turning it off. Uh, as for the size of it, it's pretty crazy. I mean, let's just take this uh, current mainline 911. I mean, it's like a Hot Wheel size RC car, which I mean, let me look, it's, it's an Audi. Now the, it, it doesn't look out of place there. It doesn't sort of stand out. It is crazy to think you can just get a Hot Wheel size RC car. Um, so yeah, size wise and everything looks good. Obviously it's not as um, detailed. It's all just a plastic shell on top. But I mean, it gets the job done and they've even gone so far as to stick a little Porsche, uh, I don't know if you can see it, a little Porsche logo on the front there. So it's a Porsche, it's lightweight, it works. Now to you want to sync this thing, you just turn it on by whacking that little, one little switch there. Um, it's on. Let's leave it like that. And you press the, hold this down, I'm guessing. And I'm gonna sync it up. So now I press this, the wheel should spin. And they do. Uh, as you can see, it's rear wheel drive. Now this gets onto one of the parts where it's, one of its um, unique selling points and negatives and positives. Forward. Backwards, it's um, rear wheel only. Hit the turbo, very fast. But as you can see, uh, the front wheels don't turn. So this button turns like a tank. Basically, I don't know if, maybe if I slow this down really, I might just, I'll slow this down. They're either spinning, spinning alternately to do like a tank turn or just one spinning more than the But basically, if you want to turn with this thing, it's, you gotta be very, gentle with it. Anyway, basically, if you do try and turn too much on this, you're just gonna do a spin, which is pretty cool for doing some crazy donut spins. But um, yeah, if you wanna actually drive this thing like an actual car, you've gotta be very subtle with it. Anyway, and I'm just gonna show you some footage of me actually driving it, and um, you can see what it's like. But I've just took a quick review, if you want a quick review of me right now, I'd say this is immense fun. 15 pounds, it's, yeah, it's um, a no-brainer about getting it, it's great fun. 30 pounds, yeah, I'll still get it, it's great fun. Anyway, I'll whack on the track now. So here we are in a different room, slightly darker. This is a bit of track here with it. Basically, it's like a ramp. So if you want to connect this to some track like this, you can drive the car onto it. Whack it onto the track, that's what it does. But here, I've got a very simple square. Now it does jump off, it's, the car is ridiculously fast. Like, 
I thought it might be like, um, I don't think it's going to be this fast, I thought it would be a bit slower, uh, but it's it's crazy fast, this is like only 4 speed, you can see it's going on there, it's not even with the turbo, let's just wipe the turbo on, I mean this is the turbo going straight, it's gone, it's ridiculously fast, anyway now, You've seen you can drive it on track. I mean, it'd be great fun just to drive around. If you create a whole, keep it stuck on a track if you wanted to, but where's the fun in that? It's an RC car, um, and just a small one. But anyway, let's try and drive it and do some sort of car driving moves. I mean, apologies to the low light. I'm trying to get some better light. Here we go. Now you're gonna see just what I mean about having to be subtle with this thing. I'm trying to drive this while holding the camera. It drives. Goes back. Now, if you try and just just turn it, thing. I mean, you might be wanting that. So that's for the turning. That's for the turbo. The turbo just goes crazy. I think it doesn't. Always line up, you know, when driving around into stuff. It's very strong because I've crashed it a lot. But um, anyway, I'll stop going on now. And I'll just show you a few examples of me actually trying to drive it seriously. Then maybe you can see if it's worth getting. I think it's worth getting. I think it's great fun. I mean, it does do some cool, like, I'm sure you can get it to drift properly, but um, it's very hard not just to enter a crazy spin. But, I mean, it was 15 pounds that it can do this. So, I mean, surely that's worth the price of admission alone. Uh, but I'm sure this gets to drift. It's sort of, when you're trying to do normal, it does that quite often. When you go around a corner, it sort of enters a half drift and snaps back. Um, just when you try and drive it slowly. So, I mean, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with how good this thing is for like a 15 pound toy, such a tiny little RC car. Um, I've waffled on enough about this now, but um, I really like it.